Is this YouTube? Is this what YouTube is? How does one do close-ups? Can somebody explain? Hi, welcome to my video. If you're from my Instagram, I love you. If you're not from my Instagram, love you all the same. Is that my intro now? I think it is. Listen, today is one of those days that I don't look good, so I don't feel good. And glam always makes me personally feel better. So I decided to make a little quick chit chatty get ready with me video. And this is the final result. I hope you like it. Soak it in because in a minute, you're gonna see me and you're gonna get scared. Now listen. I look really rough today, this is just a fair warning, but what we're gonna do on this channel is that we're just gonna keep it really real with each other, so you might as well get used to my imperfections and dark circles right out the gate, and this is just what you get. And another thing that I will not be shamed for is, whenever I do my glam, I like to feel really comfortable, hence the big oversized t-shirt, and that's just how I always do it, so please enjoy the video. If you don't enjoy it though, I can't blame you because it was rough today and I just don't have the energy to muster up anything better for this week's video. So maybe if you're gonna skip this one, I won't be that mad, but check back in next week, okay? So I'm gonna go run my little errands now, but I'll talk to you next week and I'll talk to you every day on my Instagram. Okay, enjoy the video, love you. Okay, sorry for the jump scare, but let's just jump right into it. I'm just gonna dive in here. I really want to glam. I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet. I think I might... I, I'm in the mood for a sort of a burgundy red type of vibe. So I guess we'll see. So as you can see, my brows are done. And I have a little bit of lip oil on, but that's it. I don't have anything else on my face. And I look truly scary today. I haven't slept well this entire week actually, but today particularly... I, the sleeping was not the move. So, you know, it is what it is, but thankfully, I don't spend all of this money on makeup for nothing. We're just gonna cover all of this up. If anybody wants to know, my dark circles are hereditary, by the way, which means that they would still be here even if I slept for 12 hours each night, which I don't. But even if I did, they would still be here. I've had dark circles since I was a child. So, they're always gonna be here. I used to hate them so much. Now I just only hate them a little bit. <laughs> and that's the truth By the time you guys are watching this Halloween has come and gone. So Let's talk about it. What was everybody? Did you have a costume? Did you do your makeup? Was it spooky? Where did you go? What did you do? Did you party? Can you even party where you are in your country because of the whole situation happening around the world or Are there restrictions? What's happening with everybody? personally, I Honestly, never really got into Halloween like that. Now, before you judge, listen to me. I'm from a country where Halloween isn't just, isn't a thing. We don't celebrate Halloween at all. And so, when I was a kid, I never went trick-or-treating. I've never experienced any of the joys of Halloween that I see some kids experiencing. So, I never really got into it like that. Although, now as an adult, I will tell you, I like the theatrics of Halloween. I like the costumes, the, the, the glam, the getting ready, the spooky season vibes. To be honest, I don't even care that much about Halloween, but I just like October. So, I know that I'm not going to be doing anything this Sunday. I'm f filming this on a Friday, by the way. So, I'm not going to be doing anything this Sunday. I'm going to be home. But, what did you guys do? Did you have fun? More importantly, you guys... How soon after Halloween do you start making Christmas or holiday plans and New Year's plans? Because somebody just asked me yesterday where I was gonna be for New Year's and I was like, isn't it a little too early? Because to me, in my mind, it's early. But if you think about it, it's really not. We're gonna ignore the rude person who texted me, dad. Um, we're gonna ignore you for just a minute. We're busy. We're filming. Do you guys get into New Year's or do you prefer Halloween? Or are you like me and is Christmas your favorite? Because Christmas, I live for Christmas. My grandma, she used to be obsessed with Christmas and I think I inherited that because I love Christmas. There's just something in the air that I'm just obsessed with and of course, 
I love the whole tradition of the holiday. Now I will say the one thing that I do on Christmas, and this is my fault fully, I'm not calling anybody out besides myself, is that the day that we're supposed to go to whoever's house that year for the holidays, for the celebrations, I spend that entire day, that entire morning baking. And every year I tell myself, this is the last time I'm gonna do it like this. Next year I'm gonna pre-bake. I'm gonna make these cookies like three days early or two days early so that the morning of I can have a peaceful, nice morning, happy vibes, good energy, whatever. And then every year I break my own promise because I just can't go over to these people's houses and then give them cookies that I know damn well that I made three days ago. They need to be fresh, I'm so sorry, or else I'm literally not making them. So, every year on that day I'm stressed. And I'm sure that it's gonna be the same this year, but you know what? As much as I'm saying, oh, I'm stressed, oh, it's so stressful, clearly I love it. Clearly there's something in there that I love because otherwise I just wouldn't be doing it, okay? So, there's that. Okay, let me try and blend this out. By the way, if you could see how I do my makeup when you guys are not here, I think you would be very surprised because, listen, I discovered that filming videos is very fun for me. I actually like it a lot. The problem with it though, is that I have to actually stay in frame. And for me, difficult. That's too difficult. That's You're asking too much of me. Like It, it really is like that because when I'm doing my makeup, by myself and nobody's watching me and you know i don't have to make a video no joke i'm sitting here scrunched up in a thousand different ways the mirror is always this close to my face i'm doing all of these poses that literally sometimes i catch myself and i'm like are you okay but when you guys are here i have to sit straight and not move much because i need to be in frame and i need to be in position and i also need to blend at the same time so what ends up happening is that I forget how to breathe for a while. So in the breaks that I'm cutting out that you guys won't see, you just hear me go, Ugh, cause I, you know, ran out of air, but feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I love peeling back the curtain and just, you know, showing you guys the real tea because to be honest, I think in a lot of these videos, which I watch and I love watching and I enjoy watching, so, you know, I can't say anything bad about them, but I'm just saying in a lot of these videos, a lot of the time, everything is presented as so perfect all the time. And that's great if that's who you are, I'm just not that person. I can't be perfect all the time. I can't be put together all the time. In fact, most of the time, I am not put together and I don't look glam and nice and put together always. So, on the days that I do though, I film a video. But today I just said, you know what? It's not gonna get any better than this. Like today I just look bad and that's okay. We all have our bad days. And mine today is fixable with makeup, like I said. So I'm very happy about that. And who cares? Just own it and just do you. It doesn't even matter. I'm having so much fun talking to you guys today that I literally don't know what I've done with this eye. Not me having 375 eyeshadow palettes. I spitballed, I'm lying, I don't know how many I have. But so many eyeshadow palettes, and then I'm blending this out with a little bit of banana powder. Which, by the way, does anybody still use that, or is it just me? What is this look giving you? Who, who would play her? If you guys know where that's from, I love you. There's no other way to say it. Okay, I'm very orange at the moment, and I'm not mad at it. I just want to give it a tiny bit of depth, so let me try and do that right now. By the way, for today, I decided to use an eyeshadow palette that I don't use that often. And nothing is wrong with it, I just don't use it that often. So today I was like, let me, let me give this a whirl. You know what a good hack is? If you don't feel like blending anymore or if you just haven't blended everything out so smoothly like I haven't done today, just apply shimmer all over your eyes. It'll fix everything. Listen, I think we're just gonna add a little shimmer and call it a day because it, today is not the day for experimenting. If ever there was a day for experimenting, today is not that day. 
Okay, this is pretty. I'm liking this so far. This palette is just... It's very beautiful, but for some reason it's not speaking to me, and it should. But we're not communicating, but we should. Okay, let's see what I can apply. Should I, should I add a pop of gold? Or is it that? Is it that moment today? Well, I decided it is, so you know what? I actually quite like that. A subtle change. I'm wondering how you guys do your makeup. In what order? Because I do brows first. Almost always. I don't think I've ever switched that up in the last couple of years. And then I do my eyes and then I do my base at the very end. Just because, just like today, I tend to use a lot of glitters and shimmers. And sometimes the, they're all over my face. Maybe they are today too. I just don't see them. So if I were to do my foundation first, I would literally have to remove half of it and start all over again. So I just always do my eyes first, unless I know I'm not gonna do a whole lot on the eyes. I like when the makeup looks like it's your skin, essentially, to a certain degree, to a certain degree. Forget I said that because now I remember how I apply my highlighter and just forget I said that. Let's not lie to each other. You know, I'm really not feeling myself today. I just looked really tired, but now I look like I sorta had about five hours of sleep which is good. Now we're gonna use a little bit of concealer to cover all of this mess. I normally, I used to put so much concealer on and this is still a lot. I'm putting on a lot today because I look very tired to be honest. I don't really contour the face either. I, I think, I don't know. I used to really like it sculpted but in the recent years, I've really stopped contouring. I used to use one of those little contour sticks and everything. I haven't touched that thing in so many years now. I just don't feel like it. I just like to add a little bit of warmth back into the face. Look like I've had some sun, not just only blue light from my computer. I'm sure I'll be watching this video in two years and thinking I look crazy now, but isn't that the whole point? Aren't you supposed to look back at yourself and be like, I look crazy, what was I doing? Because that means that you're making progress. How important is highlighter to you? Because that's the one trend that I think that I'm personally never gonna fall off of. I love highlighter. I love drowning in highlighter too. Oh my God. That's okay. I, dare I say it, I went a little overboard. Oh yeah. Oh, I saw that. I saw myself in the viewfinder. I look like a Christmas ornament. That's all. I'm trying out this new mascara that I don't really care for, but I'm gonna use it up. It's not my favorite though. Comment below which lip color you think would go good with this eye. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I don't feel like an orange. Maybe I do. No, I don't. No, 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 I don't. I love this lip shade. Ugh. I love a good pinky nude. It's my go-to, to be honest. I think that might be the final look. I already feel way better. That's the power of makeup. I really started this video looking like a bridge troll. Not only look kind of sort of decent. So I'm gonna go run my errands now. I do have two questions for you though. So number one would be, do you still watch tutorials? And number two, should I make one for next week? Let me know down below. Other than that, I think that's it. I've blacked today and I really blacked out. I don't know what I've said. I don't even know if this video is gonna make it to the light of day because I'm very tired, but I'll see you in editing. Anyway, until the next video and I'll see you every day until then on my Instagram. Okay, so thank you for watching. Love you. Hope you're having a good day. Bye.